Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Right off the bat on today's show, BMW took off the wraps of the brand new drop top version of the 8 Series ahead of its official debut at the LA Motor Show just a handful of days time. They've also got official specs has now been released and this vehicle, depending on what part of the planet you live in, will at least be available in two different variants at launch. One of the variants comes in as a 840D, which comes with a 3 liter inline 6 cylinder diesel engine with a turbocharger, making 320 horsepower, 516 pounds feet of torque, shifted exclusively through a 6 speed automatic gearbox. Most of the world at launch will get the M850i. That particular vehicle comes with a twin turbocharged 4.4 liter V8, making 530 horsepower, 553 pounds feet of torque, shifted exclusively through an 8 speed gearbox. 0 to 62 comes in at just 3.9 seconds, and both vehicles have a top speed of 155 miles an hour. Now this thing looks just as striking, at least to me, and I'm not the biggest convertible fan as it did in the coupe version. Top up or top down, this thing looks really well. And speaking of that top, it goes up or down in just 15 seconds time at speeds of upwards of 31 miles an hour. Now, this vehicle is going to be launched in different parts of the world in different times, but here stateside this vehicle will be available in the spring of 2019 with a starting price of just a little over $120,000 U.S. dollars. Next up on the list, Aston Martin and their group has come up with this fantastic special edition DBS Superleggera. And much like that Superleggera, it comes with the existing 5.2 liter twin turbocharged V12 making 715 horsepower, 664 pounds feet of torque shifted exclusively through an 8 speed ZF dual clutch transmission gearbox. 0 to 62 comes in at 3.4 seconds with a top speed of 211 miles an hour. But this particular special edition is known as the DBS 59. It harkens back to the old DBR1 race car that actually won the 24 Hours of Le Mans in the hands of one Carroll Shelby in 1959. This vehicle is going to be a very exclusive machine. And not only do you get this when you buy this vehicle, get this fantastic livery, which is only exclusively on this car as far as the Aston Martin British Racing Green, along with special treatments all around the car showing off this DBS 59 livery. A lot of interior features are going to be exclusive to this vehicle as well, including a bunch of cool little giveaway stuff that they're going to give. Well, I get technically you're paying for it, but I mean, we'll come along the line with this vehicle, including period correct overalls, racing gloves, helmets, also bespoke luggage that comes exclusively with this car. Now, here's the trick. They haven't released pricing on this vehicle, and it's going to be stupidly rare. Just 24 are going to be built for the world, and they're exclusively offered in one UK dealership coming up very, very soon. But I think this thing is well worth it. So we'll hopefully hear a lot more about the pricing of this vehicle, hopefully coming very, very soon. And last up on the list, a little bit of sad news. The lady in this photograph next to legendary actor Jim Neighbors, who just passed away just a little under a year ago. In fact, he passed away November 30th. Sadly, the lady in the photograph is Mary Holman George, who just passed away on November 3rd, just the day before the taping of this particular program, at the age of 83. This lady was a staple, not only at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, as her family has owned this speedway for well over half a century. And she did a lot of charity work, a bunch of stuff in and around the Indianapolis and Indiana area, along with a bunch of stuff with the Special Olympics and other groups as well. Sadly, Mary George has been in ill health over the past several years, but you probably have seen her at least every time in the month of May. This was the lady they used to yell out, start your engines for every Indianapolis 500 over the past several years. So, sadly, passing away at 83, our prayers go out to the family and friends of Mary Holman George. Boy, she was a staple at the Speedway. These are two legendary people at the Speedway that are definitely going to be missed here coming up in the next month of May. 
And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. Get the first dibs on the brand new show as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.